Did I just build a bike with the biggest gear range ever? <laughs> you want to see a bike with 675% gear range? All right, look, I, I apologize for the clickbait title. Uh, I'm not really into making big pronouncements or anything. So why am I here? This bike in and of itself is probably nothing to look at. It's, an, it's a budget entry-level bike build that I just did for a friend uh, because he's getting into cycling and wanted a road bike. So I built him one up with some parts that I had. That's the basis. But in the process of building this bike up, what he said to me was he wanted to be able to go really fast on the flats, but also wanted to be able to climb some of our steep hills around where I live. We have hills with sustained gradients of 10 to 17, 18% and, and short pitches of more, but sustained, we're talking like five to 15 minute climbs at 10, 11% average. So those kind of climbs require some serious gearing unless you wanna grind your way up the hill. Um, and I've always been big on gear ratios, but I've never quite gone this extreme. So what I decided to do was to see what I could make work with what I had on hand. So I'm working with a road triple three by eight. So it's an eight speed cassette in the back with a triple in the front. And I'm running a 52, 42, 28. No one sells that, but I took a 52, 42, 30, a old Sugino Superbi uh square taper bottom bracket 170 millimeter crank arms um and i replaced the inner 30 ring with a 28 and then what i decided to do was to mate it with a brand new eight speed cassette and now that we're in the era of one by drivetrains and by the way i'm a big one by fan i'm also a big double fan i'm also a big triple fan i think they all have reasons to exist and i think they all are excellent at certain things but because we're getting into the one by craze, a lot of manufacturers of aftermarket components are starting to pump out these super wide range cassettes for trickle down retro technology like eight speed and nine speed cassettes and 10 speed cassettes because 10 speed is getting kind of retro now, isn't it? Uh, so anyway, this is an eight speed, 11 to 40 tooth cassette. And so basically what I end up with is a big gear of 52, 11 and a low gear of 28 40 all right so all the stuff in the middle doesn't really matter if you're talking about range you're talking about what what's the top end what's the low end well let me show you real quick how they shift and how they sound in each of those top gears there are by the way a couple gears in the middle on the middle ring when i'm at the at the top the top two gears or two and a half gears uh there's a little bit of chain rub on the outside cage plate of the front derailleur but apart from that there's flawless shifting. The way I've accomplished this in terms of the shifting, so it's classic road pull shifters with a road triple front derailleur and a Shimano Mountain Dior rear derailleur. It's the Dior uh, RDM590 or RDM591. And this thing speaks the same cable pull ratio as Shimano eight speed, nine speed road. So this was actually a nine speed mountain derailleur. Doesn't matter, shifts perfectly. It knows exactly how far to move for each click. And in order to make this work, I added a derailleur hanger adapter. That's that little two centimeter adapter that adds on length that gets the derailleur further away from the cassette. All that being said, that's the setup. And it works, it shifts great. I don't have a great position to show you, but all right, so this, is the low gear. So now we're spinning in the 28, 28, 40. Absolutely no chain rub, sounds awesome. Now we're on the middle ring, by the way, middle ring can go to the low gear and does awesome too. And let's shift up to the big ring. So now we're in the big ring and let's see, here is your 5211. So that's 5211. Shifts awesome. And this big ring can actually go down and it can even run. I mean, I wouldn't ride this, but this is a 5234 in the back. So this Dior derailleur can handle all of that, all of that chain wrap.
So there, wow, am I super close? So there you have it. So there you have it. There's the shifting. I think it's amazing. I think it's incredible. I've never had a bike with this much gear range on the top end and the low end. Um, I think it's really cool. Definitely a place for triples in your stable. If you want to do like touring or yeah, just basically have massive range. This is 675%. Uh, I'm going to put up a chart right now that shows you that uh, the speed at 90 RPM on these tires, by the way, these are 700 by 28, uh, 28 millimeter tires, 700C standard road. So it gives these a circumference of 2,150 millimeters. And um, at a cadence of 90, this thing has a top speed. Uh, I'd have to go look it up. All right, I had to grab my cheat sheet because I was interested in these numbers. So at 90 RPM, at 90 cadence on these tires with this gear ratio, at my high gear of 5211, I'd be going 34.1 miles an hour. At my low gear, I'd be going 5.05 miles an hour. So if you take the high speed, divide it by the low speed, and multiply it by 100, that tells you the percentage of the low speed that you're getting on the high end, 675% gear range. And you can also do this with gear ratio and gain inches and development. I don't even know what development is, but it's a term people use for gear ratios. So anyway, 675%. There's a chart you're staring at right now that tells you all this in detail. And I'll post down below the text of a quick little document I wrote up because I just got super interested in this. Uh, I don't know if it's ever been done before. Not that people haven't tried, but I don't know if they made cassettes with the same range back when people relied on triples. Now that people don't need triples, I don't know if they're messing with this kind of gearing anymore. But the two big advances are the wide range cassette and the derailleur hanger adapter. Those are two huge things. And so there's still a place for triples, still a place for super huge gearing. Go touring, go hit the big hills and spin to win. I hope you enjoyed this. I know I'm not the first person, I'm just kidding. But I thought it was a really cool drivetrain. Just thought I'd share it. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye.